Hello, this is CP Edit, and in this video, we'll be solving the fourth problem of bi weekly contest 34, which is called Count All Possible Routes. So, in this problem, we are given few locations of houses, and then we have to start from the starting position, which is given by the name start, and we have to count how many ways are possible to reach the finish. So start is 1, so we start from this one, the first city and we have to reach the third city. So we have to reach this city which is at location 8 and we have to count how many ways we can reach this city. So we have given fuel and then we can not use fuel more than this value. So suppose we move from city I to J. The fuel used will be the difference between the locations of those cities. So in this case, in this particular case, we can reach 3 by 1 to 3 directly to 3 because the fuel consumption will be 5 or we can choose to go from 1 to 2. This will take fuel 2, fuel 3 and then we can go to location 3. So this will also take fuel equals to 5. So likewise there are two more cases which we can use to reach finishing city. So the example 2 is also there. So the interesting example is example 4. So the starting city is 0 and the finishing city is also 0. So we go from 0 to 0 and then we can go from 0 to 1 and then 0. So we can pass through the city more than once. So what is the idea to solve this problem? So we can reach from each city to each city. So I have drawn this example. So we can reach from each city to each uh, every other city and then we have to count how many times we pass the finish city. So this is the finish city. We have to count how many times we have passed this finish city. So the idea is to keep driving until you have fuel and count how many times you pass the finish city. So we can model this problem as a dynamic programming problem. How we can do this? At each position, suppose we are at position P, we can move to each other position x we can reach to each other position unless we have the remaining fuel so if we have fuel we can make these transactions these, tra these transformations from one state to another. So in this case, the state will be having only two variables. First one will be the current city, the uh, index of city at which we are present. And the second state will be the remaining fuel which we have. So if we make this transaction, we'll be moving to i and the remaining fuel will be calculated accordingly fuel minus taken so we keep moving these states and one caveat in this problem is that when we reach the final state we don't stop and return the uh, uh, answer we just move from that state to another states so let's see how i coded this problem so 
so let's start from here so suppose we are at index and we have remaining fuel given by fuel so we try to move to each other city if that city is not the current city and we have the required remaining fuel so if we have enough fuel we can make this transaction so we are doing all those transactions and adding in the answer so answer for this state this particular state will be the answer and will be written in there so this is the caveat here we don't return from this statement because we can pass this finish state multiple times we don't need to stop here so we are not returning from here and if the state has been calculated before we just return that answer so we have initialized the dp array by minus one and then we call the recursive function so that's all for this solution hope you liked this video see you in the next one please like share and subscribe our channel Thank you.